I'm here with Joseph Chan, who's just gone out of the Polaris Grand Prix. Obviously, some incredible matches so far tonight and against Levi. He had you in just an unbelievable position, fully locked in like a face crank, fully locked in body triangle for a long period of time. It, honestly, a lot of the, even the commentators were saying, I think it, this might be the end, but you did not give in <laughs> at all. Did it even enter your brain to tap out? I mean, it was definitely a consideration, but I didn't, it was uncomfortable. And my airway obs was obstructed slightly. So I was like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> But um, in terms of like being put out, I wasn't gonna get put out. And I think my neck was gonna break. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna chill here. I was like, mostly over my face. He was squeezing a bunch. And then I slowly felt it really let, let go. And I was like, okay, this yeah. is chill now. And then uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to make up the deficit, but yeah. You're passing, you were just going and going and going. The majority of the match was, was Levi obviously playing his guard game and you attempting that pass through. Mm -hmm. Levi, obviously one of the better guard guys out there right now. Amazing, yeah. And, and you had a really fatiguing match beforehand. How much did that play into the I match mean, with Levi? I played into it, but I mean, all props to Levi. I don't think that necessarily changed the uh, tide of the match, but I mean, I was up there for like la like four minutes and yeah. then they had to call me down. I was like, cause PJ got the quick sub. So I yeah. was like, this is definitely- <laughs> Yeah, the commentators <laughs> were saying you had the quickest, the shortest amount of time in between matches and you had a full length match as well, like an exhausting match before. Yeah, but I mean, all props to Levi, man. I mean. I definitely don't think he beat me because I was fatigued or compromised. I definitely think, I mean, just sick back take, man. Great, yeah. great technician. Where are we going to see you next? What's next? You've obviously, you've been traveling the world, doing seminars, coaching, training, competing. Where are we going to see you next? Yeah, so I'll be traveling within Europe, doing a few seminars, and I've just been working on like stuff outside of competing itself, like got a Patreon and stuff like this. Yeah. In terms of competing, I should be competing in the U.S. soon. Um, uh, I think I'm going there in June for the lead up to ADCC and yeah. I'm going to try to compete a fair bit there, uh, whilst I'm there in preparation, similar to this, but be team YouTube, like, and subscribe. Also, if you want to support me, my Patreon, my sponsor, Alion. Yeah. Oh, and, and subscribe to Combat Arcade, which is okay. my channel. Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, you're Combat Arcade? Yeah, man. Shit, I've seen your videos. Okay, no way. Sick. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, yeah. man. I mean, you've tagged awesome. me in a few of them. Yeah, six, six, six. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Awesome. Yes, that is me fangirling over Joseph Chen, knowing who I am. And if you don't want to look that silly, then you should head over to White and Black and get yourself some lovely looking jujitsu gear, rush guards, and shorts so that you look lovely. Make sure you use the code Combat Arcade 30 for 30% off of anything you get there. And thank you guys, as always, for watching.